Welcome back to the Paddle and Fin Podcast Network. We're brought to you by Pelican Built Tough. For all situations, go to pelican.com. Yak Gadget. For all your fine kayak fishing accessory needs, go to yakgadget.com. Eastport Marina on the beautiful shores of Dale Hollow Lake. For all your lodging, kayaking, and fishing needs, go to eastport.info. Now let's get this show started. Hey guys, John Rapp. It's Takeover Tuesday. It's our Christmas Stocking Stuffer Special. Let's do this. Welcome to a special edition of the Rusty Hook Podcast. Streaming live on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. One hour of straight talk regarding tournament news, angler profiles, gear reviews, and more. Now let's get our show started by joining with John Rapp, our host. All right, hey guys, welcome to the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. We're streaming live via Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. So make sure you go check out all those different platforms. You can find my my socials on the top right corner there. Uh, go hit like, follow, or subscribe, and uh, check check me out when you get time. Love to have you uh, as a part of the my network of friends and followers. Got a good show today. I had. And hope to have a few people on, but I'm not sure if Krampus made his way to a few homes and has taken a few of my fellow fishermen away for today's show. But I can tell you, the elves have delivered one fine friend, and we're going to bring him on now. And that would be my good buddy from North Carolina, Randy Newton. Randy, welcome to the show, brother. What's going on? Hey, you know what? Krampus, I haven't heard that name in forever. So that was actually a pretty good lead. Hey, I appreciate that, man. <laughs> uh, well, I just I just got a message from Jacob. He cannot make it. He's slammed. That's my uh, Jacob Oldenburg, man, from Havoc Kayak Fishing, Havoc Podcast down in Texas. Uh He's a fireman full time, but he's also a salesman, hard worker for Z Pro Lithium, and I, apparently he's 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 pretty busy right now with those guys. So appreciate you even consider it, Jacob. But uh, anyway, guys, um, Randy, you know we we've been streaming hard today, brother. We've been working hard, putting out some content. Um, you might talk about your show that we just. Yeah, that's the best part about it is that, that, you know, we get we get that ability to to do this. So earlier today we recorded and we posted already on social media our 2024 take on all the kayak tournaments for the top three series. So that's with KBF, yeah. Hobie BOS and also with the Bassmaster. So we just like some pointers some tips. We gave some suggestions of some things to do in, in, the, in that uh, on those lakes and in those areas. So uh, we went through all three three of the series schedules and talked about them talked about their locations so that's what we did earlier today so that's already live out there social media world you can go to crossover outdoors on youtube right now and pull it up or you know pull it up on my facebook account randy newton and uh you can definitely find it there but yeah we definitely have been busy today got some more stuff coming down too (laughs) yes yes um i look forward to working with you a lot uh in 2024 something that i wanted to mention to you is uh Maybe uh, us working a little bit more closer together. We we mesh well. We do a lot of work together uh, with within the industry, and uh, I'm hoping that maybe we can uh, uh, do a lot more work together here at Paddle and Fin with Crossover, with Rusty Hook, and whoever else wants to uh, to join us and, and bring us on board. Um, but well, we, we've also got the distinct privilege too. We get to work with a, a very good team of anglers, so we're also going to be doing yes. some some things for the Feel Free. Uh, group and then also for Dubro and hopefully some of the other sponsors. So we're we're very excited for what 2024 has to offer. Yeah, yeah, we we are very fortunate. Uh, you know, I gotta admit, I gotta agree with you there. Um, now I want you to go back uh, and finish what you, that that thought. Um, you s- mentioned some of your socials. 
Um, for folks that don't know you, have, that, oh. you know, where you work with the KBF as, as, as their personality there, doing their shows and stuff, so tell them a little bit more about where they can find you on, on social media. Obviously, the best place to find me is on Facebook. You can look me up at Randy Newton. And then at the same time, we are on uh, YouTube is where we post all of our shows when they are live, uh, when, when they're recorded. And so YouTube, if you go to Crossover Outdoors on YouTube, and you can also find a new pod episode called The Un- Unscripted Duo, which is uh, me and then another host on a different basis is going to be talking about random things throughout the world and also just whatever we want to talk about. That's why it's called unscripted. So it doesn't have anything to do in particular with the industry or anything, but we may talk about fishing. We may talk about football. We may talk about whatever, but it's just, that's the fun thing about that show. But yeah, then you can go on YouTube. Yeah. And you had a great, great show uh, that I got to be a part of there, but we did back uh, on nine 11 for the nine 11 special. So guys, yeah. make sure you go look the, look up the un, unscripted duo and and look at that, that episode. That was that was quite a great show. You you had perspectives from uh, a couple policemen, uh, a, a person from the fishing industry in New York when everything happened. I mean, it, it was a really really great episode. Yeah. So. But no, I'm really excited. We we're gonna talk about some stuff today. Let's talk about what we got going on on your little table over there, man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the stocking stuffer for some folks should always be in, should always include, especially when most of your buddies are, are Marines, a good set of crayons. Because you know they, they get bored easy when they're fishing, and they might get hungry, too. So I always recommend you keep some of these in your kayak or in your truck handy for your marine buddies so. hey randy what what branch of service were you in i'm gonna let you just leave with that one right there i'll let you live <laughs> oh hell yeah buddy all right <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate you letting the old old army boys survive <laughs> hey man so stockings it's the that's the uh, theme and everything guys and gals that randy and i wanted to talk to you about i mean We've uh, got our stockings, and we wanted to go over a few things that you might be interested in purchasing for your favorite angler, kayak angler, big boat, bank fisherman. Wherever they can put a line in the water, they need something in their stocking. Exactly. So lead the way, brother. What, what are you thinking? Well, I think what you need to do, sir, if you wouldn't mind, would you mind pulling up that website that we talked about? I, I can I can do that. How about that one? There you go. Go over to DubroFishing.com. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, Dubro is a sponsor of myself and also a sponsor of John. Um, they're, they're an amazing team. Uh, father, son, uh, Brian Schiller is out there in, in control of marketing, network. You name it, Brian's got his fingers in it. But you definitely DubroFishing.com. And they have a couple of options that you can look at. When you go into the product section, you can go in and you can look up the kayak and boat accessories. And inside that kayak and boat accessories, it's kind of like got the two items that I think are very worthy of taking a look at. One, you might have them right there with you, sir, and that is those twister knobs. Yeah, yeah, I do. Matter of fact, uh, let me pull those out here. They're down in the back. And the good thing about those, Randy, as you mentioned, is... Uh, Let's just simply pull those up on the internet here. Well, here, let's do this first. Um, so while he's pulling that up, those twister knobs are very important. So they're stainless steel components inside of it, so they're never going to rust. Um, they are very easy. Yes, they are very easy to screw down. You can do it with, you can just basically spin it, and it automatically tightens down. It's a lot easier than the current uh, knobs that are on a lot of the uh, products out there nowadays. And you're going to get a better, a lot more secured connection between your metal and your boat and your tracks. So the track system, the track, twister track knobs are, they come in four packs. You can get them in pretty much like black, blue, green, orange, and red. And those colors are, those are, I think, a must. Everybody should have them to change out their knobs to. Um, new canoe seats, 
track seats, track mounted items, anything like that, you definitely want to make sure you get some tr twister track knobs and throw them in your stockings for your angler. You bring, yep. And there's a second item that we were talking about before we got jumped on the show, and that's the hangman tool. Um, really was a hit when we were down at ICAST. Um, you can mount that to your track. It's not very big. It's about the size of your wallet, as you can see the dimensions online there. Mm -hmm. um, it's only five inches long by two and a half inches wide. Um, it's not much thicker than your wallet. But you can see it's got a couple places for tethers, place that you can stick scissors uh, or uh, any other type of tool that you want to keep close to you in your kayak. I actually keep my uh, my little uh, five-sided L knob tool that I use to keep my seat tight and all the uh, in that middle bracket. Keep my scissors in the right side bracket, and then of course I I have my fish uh, grips tethered to it and my little fish tool that I use to take out hooks and stuff to yeah. it as well. Yeah, this is a great this is a great thing to add to your kayak. It's not it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's a very very minimal impact on your um, layout to your kayak and not to mention that you're gonna have that line cutter that's right there. That isn't just like a regular line cutter, isn't anything like that. That's a replaceable blade. So you yes. can actually once that blade starts to go bad, you can replace that blade in there and that's that's a nice thing about it too and it takes up to some pretty thick um line line weights so i mean it's it's got a lot of it's got a lot of a lot of cool things and like you said those line those uh, tethers right there on the front those you can hook up to your um rogue gear company tethers or your robo hawks or whatever you got right there connect your things to and have those um, readily accessible so all of your items are secure right on your kayak and you know the other cool thing is too you can use twister knobs on that too. That's right. That's right. I mean, right. come on. Everything is integrated here. Let's go back at the. But you can see right there on the front page is the, the twister knobs that the uh, twister track knobs he's talking about. And, I, man, Average Joe series. Now, I've got a pack of their creature crawls right here from Dewey. They call them the Dewey Chewy crawls. Dewey Chewies. Okay, um, really great, great product. I also like their five-inch hot stick. Um, I took a bunch of those down when we were at ICAST and uh, took those to a friend of mine. Um, we went out on a local lake and uh, we went through a whole pack. I only had the one pack with me. I gave him uh, about five. I had five or six and uh, we went through the whole pack. He caught probably eight or nine fish. I caught uh, at least eight or nine fish. And we, uh, it was a, they, they hammered that PB and J hot stick. It's, it, it has the typical type of action that you want for that type of bait. So that's good. Yeah. So they, they have, so they have several other ones. Uh, the brand new one that they have out there is called a slick willy. It's a six inch swim bait. That's a brand new one. That's out. Comes in uh, three basic colors, black, a blue midnight, um, with sparkle in it and then also a pearl white one that's there so you have those they also have a rump shaker which is by the way the best names ever for baits rump shaker hot stick shake and bake i mean come on you can't get any better with some of these names on so there it is as you mentioned the slick willy you can get a good look at them there um they've got three colors that they're offering right now Those things just look cool. They look cool. And how many come in a pack? Does it say there? I think it says. There's all no. three of them. They got the black and blue flake, like a green pumpkin, and then a white. Um, looks like they're ten bucks a piece. Ten bucks a piece, six That's inches it. long. Six inches, six inches long. They come with two, so it's about five dollars a bait. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty good right there. So good good couple of choices: black and blue, white pearl, green pumpkin with some black flake in it. You get it, good options there on it. And then the rump shaker is another one. Now that one's got I think that one, the donkey drop, the hot stick, and shake a bake. Those are the ones that have like all of their colors that they have. 
and you can go in and you can select those when you're in the You were looking at the rump shaker? Yeah, rump is shaker it, is a good the one. rump shaker? Yeah, right there she is. Yeah, so the rump shaker is really good. It's got great swimming action. I actually enjoyed this one. I tried this one out when I was down at ICAST. Uh, when we were out at the pond or lake or whatever you want to call the thing behind the condo. And yeah. uh, um, I think it's just a big old flat watering hole with a gator in it probably. Um, yep. But uh, this thing, I used the, I used um, this one and then also another one in that line, which was, I think, the June bug or the PB and J. I can't remember. Anyway, one of those, the PB and J one right there. And that, that one, it just swam amazing inside the water. Like it actually was true. You hooked it up, you rigged it up right. It's going to be, it's going to swim just exactly like that. And it's got great action in the tail. Um, you put it on a spinner bait just like that, let it drop, boom, you're going to get attacked instantly. So yeah, so the rump shaker, great one that you get um, uh, for 550 in a pack, you get six of those in there. So that's not bad. That's fairly decent price. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not very nice. Very nice. Dubro Fishing, guys and gals. You really can't go wrong. Go check them out. Um, I love being associated with that group. I got to say, they... It's been a, a very, very enjoyable group to be around. Um, the owner, Brian, is awesome. His son, Daniel, is a hoot to be around. Um, you know, we, Did you just say a hoot? Corrupt. You said a hoot? Yeah, we tried. I said a hoot. We tried I think to corrupt we corrupted him, him that week. We tried. I know we tried. So... But no, they're, they're, like like um, John says, the company's great. So you get an opportunity. There's tons of other item, items that they have at Dubro Fishing because they're really big into downriggers and a lot of that stuff for muskies and the bigger fish that are way up north in that cold water that I don't even want to think about going in. Um, and they're really good at – they have a lot of the um, – uh, bucket holders and the leader keepers that they use for all those big big old baits. So you definitely want to go and do that. Check them out. Dubrofishing.com. It's a mandatory. You must at least go and look at it. Yeah. Before Christmas. Yeah, they're, they're they're great great company to deal with. Love them. And and you know also Dubro is just not a fishing company. You know as you're well aware of, you're part of their. A pioneer or, or um, their bow hunting group, um, Pine Ridge Archery. Pine Ridge, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to get why. done laughing I, to get it out. <laughs> I was thinking of my bank, I like got Pioneer Community Bank. So yes, yeah, Pine Ridge, and then of course, it, it, guys and gals, if you're you're part, if you're into the RC, the the hobby, I mean that that's that's where their big name is is with Dubro Hobbies. They, they sell just about everything that you need for your, your airplane, your car, your boat, you name it, they have it. So. Yeah, which was really crazy because I never knew that they were so much into the RC car thing until after hanging out with them for a week and kind of hearing the backstory of how everything kind of grew from that yeah the, that department, um, that entity. And they are, they're huge. They, if, if you're in the RC world, you know Dubro. Like, you yeah. know that brand, which... I was quite surprised when I actually started talking about Dubro. They're like, oh, yeah, you know, um, uh, RC car wheels and stuff like that. I'm like, no, 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 the fishing side. And they're like, there's a fishing side? So they don't even know sometimes about the crossover that's happened there. But, yeah, so they're, that, they, they've got a lot of – they've got their, their feelers out in several different ways in the, in, the, in the markets in the outdoor industry. Lots of irons in the fires. That they do. That they do. Um, what else? What else do you have in your bag? So we'll move on from Dubro. What else you got in your bag over there? Well, you know, it's the typical little things that we always need. Is your, t your terminal tackle? I've got some hooks, and you know, I had some custom made stuff. But if you can't get custom made, they're always the, the stuff that you can find at Walmart. But these are some shroom heads that I have. Um, Wait, that's a totally think, different tie at all when you say shroom head. So be careful. Yeah, yeah, I'll be careful with that. We are talking about hooks, my friends. There we go. I just want to make sure we made that quite clear. Another style that I have here, they're actually with the in the uh, the wide gap with the the mushroom head on the on the bottom of them. So I I use that that type of style hook a lot. Where here in West Virginia, I'm more of a primarily a river fisherman, 
and, and, that, I and that's 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 a custom brand, right? So tell them exactly who yes. that's from. Well, um, it's a, a guy out of uh, Virginia. Um, I, I'm I'm drawing a blank on his on his name right now. He <laughs> asked me too quick. I'm getting old, but uh, <laughs> I'll come I'll come up with it here in a minute. But uh, yeah, he he. he uh, I was down at a show at Just Fishing, and he had a booth there. And uh, they, they do all of their work. So I went over and grabbed a pack of 500 hooks with those offset and gave them to him. And uh, a week later, he called me before I was going to the Paddle and Fin event. And he said, man, your hooks are ready. He had put 500 mushroom heads on on those for me in different okay. sizes so what is the name of that company i can't i'm drawing a blank now too hold on it's an individual oh, it's his name i got it right here somewhere uh awesome. yeah so while he's looking that up i'm gonna give my next suggestion and always inside of a, inside of a stocking is it's probably going to be a little bit more on the pricier end of what you would normally put in the stocking. But if you've got an angler or if you've got somebody that's outside in the weather, in the elements all the time, you know that that angler is going to need a kick and pair of sunglasses. All right. And we were, we had this conversation a little bit before the show and I have not done a full review on these, but this is the Hobie eyewear, the brand new ones out. I mean, these are the ones you throw them over your kayak they're going to be floating in the water. You go in a boat, they're going to float in the water. Um, you're out walking around with the kids and you drop them off the side of a bridge or something like that, they're going to be floating in the water. All right. So um, this is the, Ho the Hobie Eyewear. The brand that I, the style I love the most is actually the Coastal Float ones. And I'm trying to get the actual name of the actual. Okay. So it's a Coastal Float. These are like an everyday lifestyle. They're very nice, very slim line. But we were talking about this. Between my nines, my costas, my everything that I've had throughout the industry, these are the lightest and also the most most bang for your buck. You're going to get a clear image, clear pictures out of these. Uh, we were we had a good experience with these when we were down in South yes. Florida. I've worn these in the fog up here in North Carolina, getting through the fogs and through the rains, and I play a lot of disc golf up and through the trees and all that. This is. It's clear. It's clear as day. That's where they impressed me when we were coming back from ICAST, and we had we ran into that traffic between Columbia and Rock Hill, where we uh, got into uh, some heavy, heavy downpours. Um, right. Uh, matter of fact, it, you know, it probably saved me from being involved in a car wreck because there was a car wreck in front of us in that rain. Somebody hydroplaned. And I was able to avoid it because I could see. Well, and you you were at that wreck, and then I was at that wreck 10 minutes later. And he's like, did you see that? I'm like, well, I didn't see it happen, but I saw what the, the, the aftermath yeah. was. And it was all because of rain, simple rain. That's all it was. Yep. And we were able to see through it, no problem. I was able to go through traffic, get around it, and move on while everybody else was still freaking out. So a good set of eyeglasses, sunglasses you need to go and look at is the Hobie Eyewear. Hobie is doing a big push right now, and this is their this is their go-to basically item that they're pushing right now uh, during Christmas, obviously besides some of the kayaks and things like that. But this is their biggest item that they're, they showcased at ICAST this year, and these <laughs> – these glasses have been amazing. I'm actually going to buy some more because I like them a lot. Hobie Eyewear. Yeah, yeah, they they are good. I mean, and we're talking about using them when you're driving and stuff. But I mean, I've used them out on the water after that. After July, look when I was on the New River, a um, little bit stained water. Was able to see the bottom, um, the ledges around the ledges, so I could navigate. Uh, not bust up my kayak in that small low water but also was able to see uh fish moving along them and that mm. i found that i found that pretty important i mean because you know it's it's nice to be able to see a fish 10 12 15 feet away um when you're moving that way because you can stop you can back off and you can throw something in there and catch that fish and running running it off you know so it's very important Yep. So that's my that's my suggestion for the stocking Hobie eyewear. 
Grab you a pair. You won't regret it. Uh, so what you got? Pulling out the, I, I got a few more things in here that I, I find it's always important. And uh, you can find these type of things at your local hardware store or your fishing store, sporting goods store, your Walmarts. And uh, I got these at Lowe's. And it's just one of those headlamps that you can have when you're out there at the, the ramp early in the morning and you're setting your line up, getting your boat in water and stuff like that. Always good to have a good set of, of, of lights, you know. I've got the, the same thing that you can buy like in the tool section. It's out there, I don't know, is the, the, the kind that you put around your neck and you got the long back up there. Uh, the, the stuff you in the hardware area in Lowe's with, with your tools. So, um, you always need, your, your fisherman always needs fishing line. Get your good Cabela's brand or they're, check and see what they got out in, their, out in the garage next to their boat and get online and order. I've got some Berkeley Vanish here. I, I like that. This is what I would use when I was down in uh, Florida because it's, it's a 17 pound test line. Um, so able to get them big Randy Newton fish out of them, them big watering holes down there. Yep, fishing line is always king. So make sure you go and get the one that they like, though. If you get the one that they don't like, trust me, you're going to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> go outside, yeah. take a look, see what they got. Best place to go to try to find it, too, other than the big box stores, um, if they've got certain brands, like the Berkeley brands and things like that, um, you could go and get those at Walmart at a great price, and it, you could fill up somebody's um, fishing tackle box real quick with some lines from Walmart a great place to go and just check out their fishing section i like going there and just look and see what they got sometimes sometimes they have the most random things in the world you know this is another place that really impressed me randy um actually you know in the past we've worked with them uh and you came on the rusty hook podcast and actually gave away some of the, some certificates that you had yes. uh for these guys uh you i know you've been working with them for years I have been fortunate to just start working with them and start the, but you know, I mean, they had an awesome Black Friday sale. And uh, so I, I've talked about this previously on, on prior shows. Uh, I made an order Friday morning for a couple of their, their specials. I sent you a message that said, hey, I, I'm, I'm going to get this order. What do you think? And you're like, do it, man. And I'm like, so... Um, I got two Flugers. Is that the, the, is the President Days or which the one? President, the President, baby. Nice. You know, got a, I got two of them, good price. I think they were on sale from uh, $79 to $59 or $49. I can't remember the exact price. But Phenomenal. This, this is the one that really, really got me and it piqued my interest because I'll, I'm, I've been throwing bait casters for about four or five years and I'm all, still learning how to use them. And, learning what they are, but the speed from this one here is what really kicked me in, is the old Cast King speed reel. But they had these on sale. Buy one, get one for free. What? So you, you might you might want to go check out Fish USA, folks. Um, sign up for their newsletter, because I'm telling you, they, they have a great marketing group. They will send you an email daily on their specials. Um, and, and the, the and great thing about the great thing about Fish USA is it's catered for everything. So it's not just for one type of fishing and like cold weather fishing. It has all the gear, all the top brands from all over the fishing industry at this particular site. So it's, it it can be a one stop shop if you choose to fish through them, uh, choose to make your purchases through them. And they they have passion for the industry they're they're all fishermen themselves they're they all know the things that they like they all know the things that anglers like so you get the option right there like right now like you see that the gill sinking savage gear lure they're normally 6.99 you're getting them for like three dollars and fifty cents like that's yep. ridiculous <laughs> um you know you go into the you go into their clearance sections or what they have on sale and there's tons of things like i could spend an hour just going through the clearance section and putting things in the cart that I want. <laughs> and as you can see, 
when you're on their page. If you sign up, you can get 10% off right away. But here's their clearance section. I mean, whole spools of line that you can get, like at places that you can't even find things. The Berkeley Power Bit. Power bait, the Gilly Soft bait right there, the one that's like it like got some of the best action. Normally ten dollars a package, right now on a sale for five dollars and sixty nine cents. I mean, they have tons of stuff. If you're going, you're going crappie fishing, you're going small fish, you're going specs, you're doing anything. They have a bait, and they have the stuff that you can go. So it's ice fishing, everything in general. You can go there. They have um, batteries for fishing for your fishing electronics. They have electronics. I mean. <laughs> Everything you could possibly imagine is the it's it's my one stop shop where I go to fish get my supplies because that's that's it fishusa.com. Yeah, I mean, I, I like I said, there really impressed with with it. So um, just got a message from Dustin. Maybe he'll jump on and join us here. We'll see. Uh, He's waking but, up, um, yeah. waking up over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's he's crawling up out of bed there. He, he's we got our eastern time zone versus uh, central time zones mixed up, I believe. Happens all the time. I know that. I know that heartache. So, well, hey guys, we've been uh, streaming now for a little over thirty minutes. I want to we're going to take a quick break and uh, we'll be right back. C Pro Lithium Serious Power in twelve, twenty four, and thirty six volt applications. Bluetooth capable. Go to Z Pro Lithium for more. Dubro Fishing, American made marine applications and locally manufactured soft plastics. Visit DubroFishing.com. Feel free kayaks, paddle, pedal, or power. There's something for everyone. Check out FeelFreeUS.com. Yak Gadget, American made kayak fishing accessories and gear. Go to YakGadget.com for your rigging needs. Ace Adventure Resort. West Virginia's number one destination for hiking, biking, zip lining, whitewater rafting, and more. Check out hraft.com. Westbrook Supply Company, Georgia's premium supplier for all your kayak breeding supplies and fishing equipment. Go visit westbrooksupply.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first hour is over. We will start up on our second half of the show. Yes, but yes. I think that uh, I want to talk about something that we need to get all of you guys set up on your calendars for 2024. If you haven't paid attention to the show here, you might want to take a look at this. Go to Turning X and get signed up. I can't believe that's in January the 27th and 28th. This is so, so quick. That's in March or, or March. April. April. April what 27th and 28th. Did I say January? Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, <laughs> the time's flying by so quick. I don't even know what month it is nowadays, besides the fact that it's Christmas and it's Christmas everywhere. But, yeah, so um, Dale Hollow is, uh, is our big event for Paddle and Finn. Um, not only is it just a – time to get together and go fish and fish for some cash but it's also a time to go and meet other anglers so there's a massive networking social networking part of this that is um kind of like how the old style boondoggles was you meet at a place you went fishing and hung out for a period of time and this is this is a week it's not just like one or two days it's quite a while so you go down there you hang out in dale hollow uh at eastport marina down there and just have a blast i know that they in the past they've um, had several anglers that have kind of almost taken the whole thing. Like last year, the guy that won won every day, didn't he? Yeah. He, uh, well, he's two years in a row, man. I mean, he, he won the big bass pool uh, last year, both days. And I think he won both of them for this year. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he killed it. I mean, he was, like we talked before, um, 
he caught fish on the bed. And uh, when you're catching smallmouth, five fish over 100 inches, you're catching some big smallmouth. That's just that's quality fish. Uh, unbelievable. But, yeah. uh, hey, you know what? Um, I think Krampus has released one of his prisoners. Released yeah, one hostage. of the hostages. Krampus, uh, uh, he, 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 you know, you can tell he's an old Marine because he fought his way out of hell, got away from Krampus, and he's made the show. Guys, let's bring on our good buddy from Texas, Dustin Nichols. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm falling my way out of hell, but I sure did just just wake up. Probably woke up. Got, got sleep in my eyes still. I'm on I'm on graveyards right now, so. Whew. Whew. Hey, man. I, I, I know that you probably just woke up and everything, but uh, I, I think there's some background noise there. You might check that, Dustin. But while you're looking at that, man, um, I know you might be a little hungry. And uh, it, they, uh, that's, that's better if you. I didn't condone this, Dustin. I didn't say anything about this. I, uh oh. I, I, I let this I, be. I, I know. I know you might be a little hungry, and you just had a hard battle fighting your way from cramping. So I, I got you some stuff here. Um, to, oh. You know My favorite's favorite? burnt orange. <laughs> burnt, burnt orange. That's the one. That's the one I need. <laughs> I'll eat the paper, paper and all, paper and all. This is all good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey, man. So appreciate you. Uh, I, I was telling Randy that we had a little mix up there with the uh, East Coast versus Central time. But oh yeah, I'm Central. Work, and I know you're working the, those those long night shifts and stuff. So appreciate you uh, jumping on real quick. Oh yeah, so, no uh, problem. Hey man, take take over. We've already talked a little bit about uh, some of the things like lights and fishing line and and uh, you know hooks, things like that. What what are you thinking? What would you like as an angler? What what are you going to give, or what would you want to receive in your stocking? Oh man, I tell you what, those new um, my actually my buddy Eugene Moore actually. And got the name for the uh, the new bait from Dubro, the Dewey line, that um that new swim bait they're coming out with, the Slick Willy. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, I'm gonna entice some uh, trophy size speckled trout with those. Sure am. Waiting for. I'm, I'm hoping I get them do some laminate colors on those here coming up. I know they wanted to get those launched and everything. Those look, those look real nice. Look, they're gonna have a real cool swagger. You know, I'd like to get some of those or or give some of those to somebody. You know, I, um, man, I. I think it's so Good. cool that you. I, it's so cool you mentioned that because um, we we just uh, did a big uh, spotlight on Dubro and some of the stuff like uh, we showed their track track knobs. Yep, know, twister track knobs. knobs. It's one of my one of my favorite accessories of the year. You know, all the colors available and everything. So man, that's that's hard to beat well, those as well. <laughs> and you're a salt dude, man. You got yeah. all your equipment. You're doing a lot of salt water work. And the fact that it's got that stainless steel um, definitely makes you feel a little bit more secure about hitting the water and not worrying about something breaking off um, because of it's uh, rusted out on you. But uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's always nice to have something. You know, you can you can depend on you know, and then just like you said, that stainless insert on those. Man, they thread right on. They spin right on. Spin right off tight all good you know we're blowing up dubro right now i'm telling you though but they're they're they got some they got some killer stuff man you know i yeah. I, I you know i'm 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 excited. that's what i said i'm just excited i'm also excited about that big that swim bait man i'm talking about Ooh, ooh, the bass gonna eat it everything gonna eat it big redfish gonna eat it on the flats you know burning that pearl color one they gonna they gonna eat it they gonna eat that hey, thing you know brother i i know that the guys that watch us here on the paddle and fin network know about your show and everything but the guys here in west virginia that that are following the rusty hook page won't you tell them a little bit about you uh, what you what you do and i mean definitely talk about how often that we see you featured in some of these magazines and and, and what you do for them I, just just tell us a little bit about yourself brother. oh yeah yeah dustin nichols i'm in um the coastal bend area of texas um 
I'm also the, the team manager for Jackson Kayak. Um, and, uh, you know, just super um, excited to fish out of a kayak. I have been for so long now. You know, it just opened up so many more opportunities here in, in coastal Texas because we do have really shallow bay systems. We, we, you know, a lot of people do wade fishing and everything. But, you know, um, it's just nice to get to places where the boats can't. You know, and that's what the, that's what the kayak does. <laughs> you know, so just cool. just being on the water, man, is 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 a plus. And then you know where I'm at, I'm you know Fayette, Lake Bastrop, Choke Canyon, all them are hour and a half from me. And then, you know, Sam Rayburn, Toledo Bend, three and a half, four hours away. You know, and then all the lakes and up in Central Texas and going towards East Texas. There's just there's a lot of opportunity here as a kayak angler as well. And, um, you know, I've just been fortunate enough to have pick up some great partnerships and sponsors along the way and then have some uh, just enjoy riding. And, and you know, there's a, a magazine here, Saltwater Angler, and I, I, I do some articles in there, you know, sharing a little bit about the area. I, I really frequent my kind of home waters area around Port Lavaca, Lavaca Bay, Port O'Connor, Keller's Bay and all that. And then, um, you know, Texas is known for its... Uh, it's speckled trout fishery, you know, top notch, you know, trophy size fish. I was just down there um, fishing some stuff uh, south of Corpus um, the the other day, and actually that was the, got the, got a that couple was, good fish. Yeah, that was the photos you just posted, wasn't it? Yeah, I just posted a couple photos of that. I got a couple reels I need to put together, <laughs> just you know, a couple a couple videos and stuff, um, but. Yeah, I had posted a picture of a, a toothy, a toothy critter, you know, speckled trout, yeah. you know, the, the, the vampires of the saltwater, whatever. They got these two big fangs, and then their, their teeth are all in their kind of yellow outlined mouth, and they're just, they're just a vicious fish, man. They're opportunistic feeders. They, they are, you know, super predator of the of the flats. You know, they'll they'll ambush everything. If you look, I posted a picture of a bait, um, a fish with a bait in its mouth, and it was just like t-boned it was like in its mouth sideways you know it's a corky it's a floating or a yeah that one was a floater it's a floating uh twitch bait you know that has a little little cork inside with a little rattle and then it's a molded plastic around it kind of a bulbous bait it remembers like a a, a mullet profile so yeah that's my facebook oh yeah right there <laughs> yeah so yeah how, that's so it so how, how did you fish that and how did that toothy critter hit it yeah that thing right there i set up on some potholes you know it's little sandy areas within the grass flats and you just kind of target those areas um that they conceal themselves for uh to ambush the prey they're you know they're looking for and we just uh i just kind of target them and and cast around the edges and you just that just that sinks at about two two seconds you know a foot every two seconds so you know i was in about three and a half four foot of water you know, so just far. letting it letting it sink down and just slow twitch, kind of like a walk the dog under the water. It kind of just zigzags a little bit, and then you pause it. I had twitched it like three times and just think. <laughs> and I mean, and it thumps it. You know, it's known as the corky thump for a reason because there's no other feeling when a big trout like that, you know, freaking steamrolls your bait. <laughs> it about rips the rod out said. your hand sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the guys here are not real uh, saltwater savvy, and so yeah. I'm just curious how, how you uh, your your presentation was with that. If it was sort of like a, a bass presentation. Oh yeah, they're let, they're. Sometimes you need to finesse them, and sometimes you know the water temp the other day was 64, which is great. They're still pretty aggressively feeding, um, especially you know pre front and stuff like that. When it's going to cool down, they're going to want to fatten up and and build a little you know, up in their belly. But yeah, like uh our the the limit on those, the length limit's like a fifteen to twenty five inches, which is the slot limit. Um that one was a little over twenty six. So that that's a starting to get up there in the six, six and a half pound range, which is a pretty dang solid fish. Um yeah. anything in the upper, you know, starting to get up twenty seven, twenty eights, dang nice. And then over thirty is like the the unicorn, the dirty thirty, you know. <laughs> definitely yeah i haven't i've broke 30 with the like the mouth is open but if you close the mouth it was 29.75 so I, I didn't really count that one 
but I've had a bunch of in the you know 28 and a half 29 29 and a half 29 29 I've had a bunch up there I hadn't quite in my opinion I hadn't legitimately cracked the over 30 yet and I've been waiting on it I hooked one I hooked a fish three cast after that fish that had the bait pictured and it was it was a giant one as well <laughs> and the redfish live on those flats as well and then live in the back marsh systems and you know they're 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 the bulldog of the salt water you know and they they I'll run up what. in the fresh water in the brackish stuff as well um yeah. they they're awesome to catch and they they school up and and just push bait against the bank and you can just see them you know across a back lake you can see the birds running down the bank and you're like yo what are those birds doing you know and they're 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 chasing the bait that's getting pushed up by the redfish and you'll see them those reds will just be marching down the bank just in a school like you'll see them popping the shrimp and stuff coming out you know it's pretty that's, cool that's that uh, that has to be one of the most fun species to catch uh, I, i've been fortunate to only catch a couple um but man i, I I love living through you and seeing all the the red fish that you throw up on your pages over the, over the course of the year. This, I guess yeah. you, you spent this this time of year. You're you're really hitting it hard, aren't you? Yeah, I'm really I'm kind of chasing the the speckled trout. I kind of transitioned like all through the well the summer we had we, you know we have tournaments. So I fish some of the bass trails as well, the Texas Kayak right. Bass League, and then. Um, I had big plans this year and, you know, stuff happens like always, but, you know, I was going to go on and, and, uh, hopefully next year, you know, we got the te Texas Bass Nation, the, the Bassmaster, you know, trail in Texas looks amazing. And then the Jackson kayak trail that Lance McWhorter's running is looking pretty good for next year as well. So I'm going to try to pick and choose a few of those. And then some of the Bassmaster, uh, national events as well. We'll see how that goes. I'll, you know, I always like to throw my hat in there you know because that's what i did come up doing as well as inshore i came up you know bass fishing from you know i originally from southeast georgia fishing the title the satilla yeah. and the uh, autumn hall river systems there um so yeah it's you know i'm just fortunate to be in a killer area that i can fish all kinds of stuff but yeah those redfish are tough to beat in the fall starting you know september october into november you know they really get keyed in on that on that bait you know, when we have a fresh uh, shrimp hatch and, uh, you know, they're back there in those back lakes, you know, we're talking two foot of, two foot or less of water and just, um, you know, you got to battle the duck hunter at certain times, you know, when they're all back there in their blinds and stuff. But, you know, normally where I fish out of, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot, you know, they're in an airboat and I talk to them, you know, you know, most of them that are hunting back there, especially during the well, week. Sure. I fish a lot during the week, you know, because I work shift work, so. Yeah, it just I'm, it I'm helps sure me out. A lot of those guys know who you are probably by first name. You're out there so much. So. Yeah, yeah. There's quite a few of them that have been hunting that a couple of the areas I frequent. They've been hunting it for, you know, 30 plus years in the family and everything. And I've been fishing that. Might not have been in a kayak. Might have been in a little, you know, skiff or a little boat for over 25 years myself. So, yeah, it's 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 a cool little area, you know. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So, other than the a few lights and knives and things like that, what what else would you else throw in, in a stocking? Oh, in a stocking, what else? Oh man, yeah. I definitely have some some lures in there as well, man. I got a I got a a, a hookup from uh, Grande Bass and uh, Skinny Water. I helped develop some of their. Um, their uh their new skinny tricks um little small little finesse swim bait you know four four inch little smaller one with a smaller profile um definitely throw a couple bags of there you know their beaver bug or, or creature crawl is really good um so a little creature bait i've definitely cashed some checks on that on the bass side um definitely throw a few packs of them in there and then you know with uh yak gadgets always got some new stuff new little gear that can fit in the stocking too so you know maybe a uh quad rod stager or you know you know something like that that new little multi-tool uh yeah you just released that just released that just had a new little multi-tool uh mount um you know stuff like that and go in a stocking that's great yeah for sure definitely 
Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, Shoot. we'll see see what we could do. Yeah, man. I just I'm I was like, man, I gotta wake up. My alarm went off and I was like, all right, I'm gonna go take my time and go come jump on. And then I looked and I was like, hey, we're he's already on. I was like, oh, it's like it must be the time zone deal, must have got us. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was. I, I tried to get uh, Jacob Old, Oldenburg on too, but uh, he's all tied up doing stuff for apartment and Z Pro Lithium, so right. Uh, we could, yeah, he, he, where he's doing. Yeah, he's running around and and then yeah. Randy was on. I didn't really. He jumped off. I was like ready to y yap at him a little bit down there, and you know. He he sent me a message while we were talking there. He said that he he just got a phone call as a business call, so he's like jumped off to take it and said he wanted to wish everybody a merry Christmas and oh right on tell everybody to be blessed and stuff like that. So yeah, Randy's a good dude. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We met met Randy at iCast, you know, many years back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we. Well, we yeah, we all had a had dinner. Had had all dinner there at that one little place. Yeah. I always forget the name of that place, but. That was a yeah. good time. Yeah, be ready, ready for this coming year. I don't have, you know, I'm not on an outage during it, so my outage is later in the year. So it looks like like coming into 24, I'll be able to make it. Um, yeah, just man, just fishing. <laughs> I have some had some good news coming too, you know. Have some have some different news about to come see, out. Well, I, yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> this 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 episode airs next Tuesday, so uh, I think that that announcement should be made before then, should it? Oh, I would I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it's what is today Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. So. Why don't you go ahead and share that, man? Why don't you talk about what, what's happening? Yeah, man, it's uh, a little bit of a change, you know. We're uh, moving into 24, kind of kind of looking at some options and everything, and, and I'm going to move. Uh, that's, that's got some opportunity to come my way, and I'm going to go ahead and, and we're going to join the Z-Pro team, Z-Pro Lithium, coming on the Z-Pro. Are you going to be like that, that, uh, that big old... Um, trout that you had we showed there a little bit ago and you're going to like sink your teeth into that z-pro oh yeah yeah i'm gonna yeah. take a bite <laughs> oh yeah, yeah for sure yeah we're definitely tickled to have you on board and uh I, I think all of your stuff may have be shipped today i got an email last night that they were working on it I, I, what held us up was the, the battery chargers i wasn't sure if you needed them or you didn't need them but the, oh yeah the, so that 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 should be out. I'll, I'll double check Man. on that I'll, and send you a, a tracking message on that. Hopefully, you have it by Friday. So, Shoot, yeah, be uh, stoked on that. I plan on, you know, I'm I'll be on days next week, and then I start my long change. So I'll be I'll be geared up, ready to go with a week off, and hopefully a couple little fronts come through. You know, push the water tent hey. down just a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah, man, I hope that does happen for you. Did did, uh, did you get the email with the uh, the graphic? Oh yeah, did you? sure did. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna work. I just got it. I'll send it over to the my my wrap guy, and we'll get that. I'm gonna get that taken care good. of. Add it add so it to you, the truck and. Well, I was gonna say, is is that uh, vehicle getting swapped out for that other vehicle you were looking at? It will be. We were chatting um, about the, It won't the be until after the year. Yeah, it won't be after until after the new year. Probably, probably more like February. I think I may have lost you, Dustin. Bag gone. Oh, hello. Yeah, there you go. You're back. That's I, weird. I didn't ever pop out, man. It's the, I don't know. You know how the internet is. It's <laughs> it can be funky, but yeah, I'm 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 probably not getting a new vehicle till after till probably February. Okay. I, yeah, I knew you were you were you were talking about making a a move. Uh, That'll be a good move for you. It'll save you on the gas mileage, no doubt. Um, it's possible. We'll see how everything goes. You know, those new canyons are... Whew, they went up, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel for the guys that have to... I, I still... I just hit 100,000 on my, my Dodge or my Ram, but uh, it's a 2019. Yeah. Now that I... I you know, 
I'm not working and I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm actually saving a little bit of mileage. But mm -hmm. it's funny, you know, I, I spent all that time driving to Florida and Tennessee and uh, yeah. you know, Pennsylvania for different tournaments and fishing scenes that uh, I, I basically kept about the same amount of mileage on the vehicle that I've been doing when I was going to work daily. So. Yeah, I got a little work car. My father-in-law gifted me a, uh, a 2010 um, Toyota Camry. So I've been driving it back and forth to work for about four months now. So I've saved miles. tremendously on miles because it's, it's 42 miles each way to work. That, that's it. Well, it's, I was driving. 45 minute drive every day. Yeah. yeah. So, and my truck's a... I've had my truck, a, a, it's been a year, it was a year on a, a November 6th, so and I got 30, 35,000 on it in a year. Wow, you know, you're, you're putting 100, 100 miles a day, you're working 300 days a year when you don't take a vacation. Not quite 300 days a year, it's, I work less than half the year. <laughs> <laughs> With my yeah, vacation yeah. time switched in, and, and then I work probably, I work 14 days out of 28, it's all split up in shifts, you know. But you do so, like a 12 but, hour yeah, they're twelve. I work four. Yeah, I work twelve. I work, you know, I work three, uh, seven days, seven nights within the month. You know, and they're split up three, four, three, four. You know, awesome. there's one little short change there that I just like. That's what I came off. I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was off Monday, and today's Wednesday, and I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, and then I'm off for like three days, and I work four, then I'm off seven, then I work four nights, then off three, then back on those three days again. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a killer schedule to fish because I can fish. I mean, five minutes from the gate of the complex I work at, I'm, I'm on the water. <laughs> That's outstanding. But people don't realize that, that you, know, you have that other job. I mean, oh, yeah. I got a, a full-time job. I've been there 25 years. I work in a yeah, petrochemical you, industry. Yeah. 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 You got that job, and then you got your side jobs and your writing that you do for yeah. all the magazines. The content I mean, and, yeah. you know, helping you're, Jackson you're uh, with R&D and, um, and uh you know, helping manage the fishing team and everything, you know, put new members on there and, you know, keeping everything going. It's, yeah. it's a lot to juggle. Um, and then, you know, partnership, sponsor obligations as well, you know, stay on top of things like that. Um, very fortunate to have a great support of a local rod company. Um, just went over and made a move to Shimano about two and a half, three months ago. Um, you know, Torquedo has always been good to me. You know, yeah. Dubro, uh, a couple of <laughs> Other brands, you know, real sportswear, Catch, you know, Duke and Catch has been a big, big supporter of uh, the event I put on every year, the Redfish Greenfish Smackdown. Um, you know, it's a multi-species two-day event. You fish for redfish the first day, then you fish for bass the second day on uh, Lake Bass Drop. Um, you know, had great support from, you know, Skinny Water on that. Uh, just everybody, Yak Gadget, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky to have a bunch of uh, support from the industry. You know, it's pretty dang cool. Beck and Mass and Co Man. Coastal Bend. I got a, a local meat market, the Chopping Block. You know, everybody, if y'all follow me, y'all always see some some good food as well, as well as the fishing content. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I happen to be, I'm, I'm a trained chef. I, I actually, you know, went to culinary school back in the day and, and did an apprentice program and moved up to the ranks in the restaurant industry and worked around as a chef for a while before I moved to Texas and Worked in it as for a little while here, and I got on at the, the the chemical plant my dad's at, and and uh and been there for 25 years. I still cater on the side a little bit. Um, this time of year, you know, I just you know when I want to. <laughs> hey, that's uh, if you're not out doing some skateboarding at your age. Or that too, well. yeah. I'm still rolling around on that that wooden toy as well a little bit here and there. <laughs> it's been feeling pretty good lately, so I've I've been I've been hitting it a little more trying to. Trying to shed a few pounds, you know, be a little more active. You know, we start getting in our fifties, and it's tough, man. It's yeah, tough to stay on top I, of things. So, definitely, definitely know that feeling, man. Especially this time of year, all that good food and Thanksgiving, and then Christmas coming up, and all the little parties, and you know, this tis the season. You know, have a couple, you know, uh, ranch waters. You know, I, man, I've yeah. been drinking. Th those are good, dude. We. Instead of a margarita, instead of like the margarita mix, you basically it's basically like a 
topo like a lime topo chico with tequila yeah. then i scree uh -huh. squeeze a uh, fresh lemon lime and uh orange Ooh. juice in there slice up oh. a couple strawberries and a couple thin slices of jalapeno in there and make a spicy little ranch water dude dude they're so good no heartburn <laughs> from the sweet and sour <laughs> from the margarita <laughs> mix so yeah yeah they pretty good that, that sounds really good man pretty hey, good I man so you got to work tonight or you get ready to yeah out? i'm about to worry yeah, i work tonight i'm gonna go um once i jump off here i'm gonna re-rig a couple rods uh retie some leaders and then i'm taking my stuff with me i'm fishing in the morning after work okay okay well yeah I, i'm gonna I, fish for man, a couple I, hours in the morning i i, I definitely want to apologize for our, our miscommunications I, I, but i am so tickled that we were able to get you on here and get you to talk a little bit about what you could throw in a stocking to make your anglers happy and uh, uh, shout out with your 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 uh, socials again for everybody. Oh so yeah, they they can follow you uh, if uh, if they're not already following here on the paddle and fin when you're doing your chasing the tide episodes. So. Right. Yeah. It's uh here. I'm gonna put it up on here real quick. I mean. I've, I've got your Facebook page up, and they can see. We can share with them all your different staff that you do. You do, as you can see. I mean, Dustin is well well versed in the industry. There's a lot of companies that he works with, as he mentioned there a little bit ago. And uh, oh, yeah, it's me trying to edit one from the other day. <laughs> trying to work on the fly, yeah. But yeah, I'm uh. Guy right here down at the bottom, you got Dustin that, on Instagram, Tide Waters on YouTube. Yeah. And then some of the websites that you're part of. So. Yeah, you follow me on the IG at Dustin Nichols VTX at D U S T I N N I C H O L S at VTX Outs Dustin Nichols VTX, and that's on TikTok as well. I'll post just basically my reels. I just I just double post them over there as well. YouTube is Tidewaters Fishing. Tidewaters Fishing. Um, I'm not really that active on there because I gave that a go like I don't know four or five years ago, and then kind of posted through there. It's just hard to stay on top of editing videos all the time, so I just throw some shorts up there every now and then, a couple of tips and different things. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, Facebook, just Dustin Nichols. Uh, I don't have a fishing page. That's just a just add me as a friend. I'll, I'll add pretty much whoever <laughs> until I, I got to cap out. I'll cap out pretty soon. I'm, I'm pushing the five thousand on that. But I thought about converting it to a to a fishing page. page. I probably need yeah. to. or probably need to do that and get that rolling. Um, but yeah, my segment is chasing the tide. It's without a G, chasing. Chasing, uh, C H A S I N the Tide. Um, it's also I also have a Facebook page for that as well. Chasing the Tide. So yeah, it's it's uh you know more saltwater kind of a uh, kayak podcast. Kayak yeah, fishing podcast. It's, it's, yeah, it's the premier saltwater kayak fishing podcast. Yeah, we have uh have a couple shows on the coming up on the queue uh, you know it's tough just is being busy i did i used to do a show every other week and it's just it's just tough to stay on top of that with uh you know trying to schedule guests and you know be on top of things you know and keep it relevant you know it's, it is kind of tough I'll, I'll put that out there for anybody that doesn't that wants to start a podcast yeah <laughs> i'm telling you it, it, it's fun you know like my, you know, that's what we always make fun of. And my wife always says, you can go, you can talk the paint off of the wall. And I said, yeah, I know that. That's why I host the podcast, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it all started as a, as a guest on Paddle and Finn back in the day, you know, yeah. four or five years ago. It's been a while. Um, awesome. You know, Brian and, you know, Jay were actually on Jackson at the time uh, before they, before Brian went to New Canoe and, you know, he said, you know, you need to you need to come on the show, talk a little bit about I had just won a tournament punching um, like in deep hydrilla with, you know, one ounce punch weight was punching and, and cold three fish the last hour and won the tournament this tournament on Lake Bastrop. And and uh, they're like, come on, talk about that technique. And, you know, we and then talk about the salt water and talk about this. And then the next thing you know, he said, dude, you all just host a show. Why don't you come on yeah. over and join the crew? I was like. 
I think I could do that, you know. And back then we were, dude, we were recording on Skype and, um, you know, just things. Now I've got so much easier with this StreamYard and then, you know, part yeah. of Waypoint now and, and getting a little growth out of it. And it's, it's been a pretty cool ride, you know. I, I'm just, I'm lucky I can still do one episode a month and kind of keep keep up with it you know it's 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 definitely fun you know to get on talk to people from all over the country you know i've had people on from you know connecticut the fish long island sound chasing stripers to you know somebody in california chasing the lean cod in the uh, cava zone and you know some some guys from south florida you know then a lot of guys in texas you know all along the gulf coast as well um so it's pretty cool the diversity we can see um with all the anglers that come on the show, it's always pretty good. I always share a little bit of uh, knowledge and tactics. And then I have a thing called Quick Five where I just come up with five multi-choice answers. It could be your favorite sports team, could be food, could be baits, could be fish. You never know. I'm just going to throw it to you on the fly, and you just got to answer it. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> so Love it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I I have that uh, do a sort of similar thing with my uh, angler profiles. I haven't done one. I haven't fixed one up in a while, but I need to do that. I've got two of them queued here, but I, I haven't showed them because I, I've <laughs> I keep running them so much. I need to delete them and add some fresh content. But uh, man, hey, I, I'll let you go. Nothing but love for you. Um, welcome aboard, yes, sir, brother. Z, uh huh. To Z Pro, we're definitely glad to have you on board, and uh, wish you nothing but well. And I, I'm sure that we'll get together again between now. And Christmas with the big paddle and fin Christmas special. Uh, oh yeah. Break for the year, but be blessed. Nothing but love for you, my friend. And, yes, uh, much love, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, we help. We, we appreciate everything you do for the podcast and for Z Pro and everything. So looking forward to uh, to going into twenty four with the with the bang there. So see right, what man. happens. God bless you. <laughs> yes, sir. Take care, brother. All right, bro. All right. Uh, Glad we got Dustin on board, man. It was really a pleasure to catch up with him and hear about what he's got going on. And, uh, you know, if you need to go follow his page or friend him, he is always being published uh, for his work and his fishing. He, he's an excellent writer, and I highly recommend that you go read some of the art articles that he's wrote for all the different publications that he's involved with. You can see everything that he does and who he's associated with on his Facebook page. Um, really, really uh, feel a, a, I'm honored that uh, I, I get to work with him here with the Paddle and Fin Media Group, and especially tickled that he's jumping over with us at Z-Pro Lithium Batteries. From me to you and my family to yours, uh, from Randy and all of us at Paddle and Fin, I just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and I hope that uh, the few things that we shared with you in the stockings that you can give to your anger uh, maybe gives you an idea or two when you head out to the store to, to get for your favorite anger. Anyway, nothing but love. Be blessed. And we will. this will be the last episode that I do for the Rusty Hook for this year. Uh, 49 episodes and several live feeds. We've had a good year out on the, out on the, uh, the circuit. Uh, here on Paddle and Fin and Rusty Hook. But uh, look for us to start again fresh uh, in the second week of January. So anyway, from John Rapp and family, nothing but love.